here, Laura Garda with Core Pilates and Yoga and Zen Lottie's Training Systems here with another great Zen Fit workout. It's our Zen Fit Mat Fusion. Awesome blend of Pilates and yoga and functional fitness. So we got some squats, we got some lunges, we got some standing yoga moves, we got some seated Pilates ab moves. So it's all coming at you right now. Carve out some space, carve out the place, and let's get to it. So we're gonna start right now with some Pilates standing footwork. So you'll start in your Pilates V, Kind of connect, zip and wrap, and just lift all 10 toes up for a moment. Let's connect with our Pilates breath. Make two L's, thumb to the rib cage, fingers down to that hip crease, right? And take a breath in here. Feel the expansion and feel the body expanding side to side, front to back. And then exhale. And almost imagine you're putting your belly and your breath in a little box. So we'll inhale, expand. Exhale. Knitting everything to the center. And yes, those toes are still lifted. Again, breathe in. And out. So every move we make today is going to originate and source from this inner core box, from this rib to hip connection. So it's important we source our breath from this center. We get our mind wrapped around the movement and everything is going to connect and it's gonna be a great, great workout. So keeping that inner core connection, arms by your side, lower each toe down in its space, and then from here, float the heels up and down. Nice quick little floats, get yourself going. Inhale, exhale. If you want a little more heat stored inside the body, get yourself warmed up a little quicker, simply close the mouth, take the same ha exhale out through the nose. Four, three, two, and one. Land those heels, reach the arms up. Let's grab our right wrist, give it a little tug to the side. And then come up, other side. Once again, a little tug. And then from here into a torso twist, hands slightly behind the head, rotation towards your left. Center rotation towards your right. So we're taking our inner core box now and really wringing it out almost if you think about it, right? You're going side to side. And then let's come back to the center here, back to our Pilates footwork. We'll float the heels, we'll bend the knees, lower the heels and squeeze the legs together. So it's lift, bend, lower and together. Inhale to exhale, inhale to exhale. Four, three, two, and last one. Fantastic. From this position here, we'll step forward with our right foot. We're going to square it off so it's straight ahead. Back heel is going to step back. That heel is going to be lifted. So you're in a lunge position here. Arms just long by our side. Turn the palms out and we'll just drop the knee nice and quick. Down and up. As you're dropping down and up, watch this front knee. Keep it in line over the ankle. Think of your back knee. It's a straight shot down. Back heel staying nice and lifted. We'll drop it eight more times. Last four, and three, and two. Continuing some stretch here, we hold the lunge, we bring the arms forward, moving into a crescent lunge. So we need to make three C's. The first C is with the arms, the second C is with your core and your torso, and the third C draws the hip flexor forward and creates a little bit more of a curve through the back leg. And then let's reach around with the hands. We'll lengthen the back leg, pivot and plant the heel down and come into humble warrior. So we're floating across the front thigh and lifting the knuckles to the sky. Good stretch. Release the arms, let them rain down either side of the front foot. We'll switch feet here, setting up for our lunge on the other side. So again, coming up and we drop it down and up nice and quick. About eight more nice quick lunges, down and up. Three, two, hold your lunge. Here comes your crescent lunge. First C, second C, third C, drawing the right hip flexor forward. Coming up, swim those arms behind you, pivot and plant the back heel, finding ourselves in a warrior one with a chest expansion. So we fold forward. Lift the knuckles to the sky. And 
release down. Excellent job. Coming back up, we'll step those feet together. Arms are going to fold across the chest here. Feet in parallel, about fist distance apart. Coming into a good old squat. We're sitting down and coming right back up. Exhale. Either nose or mouth. Remember, pull the belly in. Feel your inner core blocks holding in and up. Feel your backside lengthening back and down. Hinges at the hips. Sits bones are behind you. We squat it down for eight. And one, coming up, bring those arms out in front. You're gonna do a little sports squat. So just think from your squat position, take a little step forward, such that from this position, the back heel just lifts up a little bit, almost like you wanna take a step forward to catch a ball if you were in basketball or some sort of sport, okay? So take one step forward, arms are out in front, and nice and quick now, down and up. You can even make a fist and clasp one hand over the other. It's just super quick, down and up, down and up, down and up, we go eight, Step back, guess what? You know you got the other side, right? Step it out, down and up. Nice, this time step back, step your feet together. Nice and tight here. Take those hands behind the head, coming into a twisted chair squat. We'll bring the left tricep to the right thigh, so we're gonna squat over. Come up, squat over, a little twist through the torso. Think of keeping those elbows far away from each other. Knees tracking straight ahead. Let's do four, three. Bring your body to the center, reach those arms out in front, reconnect with the belly, with the core box, peel your heels up, balancing chair. It's really firing a lot of good moves at you. Hopefully you're just gobbling them up, getting your workout on tap. Excellent, let's come on right back up. Nice job from here. Take a deep breath in, bring those arms out to a T, and find a little touch of balance. Right leg steps forward, back leg lifts. So coming into T balance, reaching out. Bring yourself upright. Ooh, other side. Arms T. Little step forward. Back leg lifts. And right back up. Ah, fantastic. Another breath in here. We're going to exhale, bring those arms down by our side. And then finding our lunge. Right leg comes in front, left leg comes in back. Those hands are gonna move behind the head now. We'll drop our lunge down and up. We're gonna add a little tricky spot here since we already tested our balance. We know our balance is, is in play. We can do it. We're gonna be dropping down from this lunge and picking the back knee up. So it's down, knee up. Swing it back through, down, knee up. I'll give you the side version. Down, knee up. Drop it back and down, knee up. Watch your front knee. Make sure that you're staying in line. Not going past those toes. Knee up. Last two. Last one. Hold your knee up. And land down. All right. Easy side. Let's step back. Find our lunge first. Right? Nothing crazy. Lunge in. Down and up. Down and up. Checking in with everything. Checking in with your breath. Do we switch over to nose, mouth, breath? Probably at some point. Yeah, I'm working hard. That's good. That's good. Keep your breath flowing smooth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, that's what it takes. Let's add the knee lift. We drop down, knee up. Last three, two, last one, hold the knee up, and lay them down. Whew, good job. From here, step those feet wide, almost to the width of your mat, maybe even a little bit beyond. Take a breath in here. A little squat down, burst those fingers across the ground, come right back up. Big squat down, nice and deep. Last four. Three. And two. 
Good job. Hold yourself up. Ah, time to slow things down with just a little bit of yoga. You're going to be long on your mat. Again, right leg in front, left leg in back, setting ourselves up for warrior two. So my back heel is pivoted. Again, I'll turn to the side so you can get a little better angle. Front knee in line over the ankle there. And we reach up. Yeah, warrior two. Gaze is going to go soft past your right hand. And from this warrior two, we're going to get back into our core connection a little bit with bow and arrow arms. So turn the palms to the sides, bringing the back hand around. You're kind of high-fiving yourself and then pulling back. So we open, we reach around and pull back. Extend, reach around and pull back. The reach around comes from your core. It comes from your waist. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, hold the pull back, sink your lunge a little deeper, and then moving into reverse warrior, we lift up with the right arm. We extend the left arm down the leg. And then from here, carve those hands down either side of the front foot. We'll take our back foot, step it in one, and turn it. So now coming into a little pyramid rock and roll, we'll lengthen the right leg, lengthen the best back leg, and we lift the heel, and then we flex the foot. So we're rocking front to back. Key is the front foot lifting up. If you can keep the pinky toe the same height as the big toe as you lift up, woo-wee, get a good stretch on the hamstring. Last four, three, two, and we'll fold the leg up there, fold the foot towards the shin bone, and fold the torso towards the thigh. Keeping your head down, let's lower the foot. Slip your right hand to about the middle of your right shin bone. Take your left hand towards your left shoulder, open towards the side of your mat, and reach the left arm up to the sky. And then use your core, lift up and stretch back. And then coming up. So from here we're gonna dial all the way back to our warrior two. You're gonna switch legs. Of course, I'm gonna spin around so that you'll have the other leg in front, right? So we're opening out with our warrior two. Long arms connected through the legs, front knee in line over the ankle there, front knee technically lining forward over the second and third toe. Turning the palms sideways, bow and arrow, warrior two, we reach around, high five, pull that bow string back, sweep around, pull back, churning, extending. Hold the next one back, shooting the arrow up to the sky, extending the arm down to the thigh. Reverse warrior. And then from reverse warrior, cartwheel those hands down, setting up for pyramid rock and roll. Lengthen the front leg, step the back foot in and square. And we lift the front toes up. And then we lift the back heel up. We rock back and forth. Holding the front foot up, slowly start to soften down, feel the stretch in the back of the leg, and then soften your foot to the ground. Moving your left hand now to your shin bone, right arm up to the sky, so we roll open and lift. And then use your core, lift the body up, reverse triangle pouring back. And coming to tall. Let's come centered on our mat here, moving down into some planks. We'll take a deep breath in. We'll exhale, fold forward. Reset the spine for just a moment with a half lift. And then collapse down. Walk your hands forward a step or two and your feet back a step or two and find yourself rooted into your plank position. Having some fun with our planks here. Solid line, right? Shoulder and wrist. And then, of course, hips lengthening back and thighs really firm. We'll come into shoulder slapper planks. So we'll bring our right hand to our left shoulder and then our left hand to our right shoulder. And you'll alternate side to side with these planks here today. <sighs> Exhale. So working our core into skies, of course. Four, three more sets. 
Last two sets. Last set. Nice job holding your plank and piking up into downward facing dog. And then another fan favorite for our planks, get up, get down planks. So we'll drop down onto one forearm and then the other. Come right back up and lift. You'll lead with the other forearm. Drop down, drop down, come up and lift. Two more sets. Down, down, up and lift. Down, down, up and lift. Last time. Down, down, up and lift. Here we go. Down, down, up and lift. Whew. Downward facing dog. Stretch out. Hmm. And then just forward into our plank. We'll shift the toes forward, drop the knees down, and then bend the elbows by our side. Control the lower and get our body into a little baby cobra here with the thumbs right in line with the chest, peeling the torso up. Good squeeze of those elbows in by our side. Remember, our kneecaps lift in this cobra, so that helps pull our spine long. And then let's lower down, curl the toes under, push up. And then relax the feet as you swing the knees in for child's pose. Arms can stay out. If those arms are a little tired, bring them back by your side. Slowly coming up, shifting gears a bit to just a little bit of Pilates before we finish up, coming into some attitude hip dip. So I'm lining up with my knees bent in front, my hips are behind me. I'm gonna be down on my forearm and then lift my hips up and reach my arm to the sky. Now holding here, I'll lightly float the top leg. So the key here, note the distance from ear to shoulder. We're gonna slowly dip the hip and lift back up. But this distance doesn't change from ear to shoulder. I'm lowering through the hip and I'm lifting right back up. Now let's hold the up, hold the lift of the hip, and then just the leg now. Close and lift right back up. Back close and right back up. Four, three, two, hold your up. Excellent, stay strong, four, three, two, we close the leg, we lower the hip, we take our top hand, wrap it around our shin bone, and pull ourselves up and pour away. And then let's spin those legs around, other side, attitude, hip dip, dropping down. So my hip and my elbow are right in line. I'm right on my forearm, okay? My knees are bent and stacked in front of me. I float the hip, I float the leg, I float the arm. So everything is pulling in and up. Remember your angle of ear to shoulder, not collapsing through the neck and the shoulder, staying lifted. We control the lower at the hip and the lift. Lower at the hip and the lift. Rib to hip connection, nice and level through the front. Four, three, two, hold your up, and just the leg now, close it, and lift it up. Ooh, we're working. Some things you didn't know you had are shaking, <laughs> but we're working, we're getting into those little muscles. Last two, last one, ta-da, strike a pose. Four, three, two, close the leg, lower the hip, grab your shin, and take a stretch. All right, swing it around onto our back, finding some abdominal work here. Feet are down, knees are bent. We're gonna keep those knees pressing together. Hands lightly behind the head. We lower just before the shoulder blades hit. We stop, and from here, little baby crunches up, crunches up, crunches up. Last four, three, two. Hold your crunch up, lengthen the legs out. The width of your yoga mat, super flex your feet such as your heels are off the mat. You can't see my heels in the video, but they're lifted. Quads are working, belly is sinking, belly bonfire. Here we do little baby crunches now, higher, 
higher. Exhale, right into this upper rectus, this upper abdominal area. Keep crunching, keep lifting. We go 12, 11, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hold your up, reach an arm out, reach another arm out. Lift a little higher, shoulder blades off the mat, lift a little higher. Oh, one more inch of height. We got this. Four, three, two. Wait for that release. Whoo, open down. Ah. Bend the knees in. Arms to a T. And sway those knees side to side. Whew. Come into the center here. Bring those knees in. Uh, extend both legs up. And then just lower the right leg down to the ground. So your right leg lowers down. Keep the palms up. Just turn the arms in a little more angle to the V. And we're sneaking our Pilates in one more little quick second here. Leg circles. So we have a long, active, lifted leg. Of course, we have a long, active, rooted leg. We bring our lifted leg across the midline of the body, around to come up. So the inhale to exhale. Four. Three, two, change direction, other way, away around and in, away around and in, exhaling on the way up. Four, three, two, and one. Leave the leg up there, float the head, neck, and shoulders up. Head to knee pose. How that yoga just sneaks right in with your Pilates. And bend the knee in, relax down. Switching legs, knee in deep, both legs up, lowering the leg we just worked. So now our right leg is up, arms again down, slightly outward on a V there. We bring the leg into the midline of the body and around. Inhale to exhale. Pause, changing direction, away around and up, away around and up. Last one, hold the up, head to knee pose, grabbing hold, peeling up, pulling the leg to you. And hug the knee in, bring the other knee in. Arms long by our side, feet landing down, knees bent, finishing with some bridges. And one more final stretch. We'll float the hips up, moving into bridge pose. Lift those hips nice and high, feel the stretch of the hip flexors. Slowly lower down. Floating up. Slowly lower down. One more time. Nice bridge. Let's hold our bridge. If you'd like to add a chest expansion, walk one arm underneath you and then the other. Interlace those fingers. Draw the knuckles long, hips high. And then arms release, slowly lower down. Take the arms out to a T, bring those knees up, nice and folded in by the chest, dropping both knees over towards your right. Big exhale as you do. And then pick one knee up at a time, back to center. Big exhale, drop the other side. And then both knees back to center, hands to those knees, stir the hips around. So we open the knees out to the side, around and together. Bring them in, open around and together. Change direction. And let's extend the legs up, grab the backs of the legs, folding towards you. Nose to knees, knees to nose. Hug the knees in, rock up, 
We'll take a seated easy pose to the front. Take a deep breath in. Interlace, stretch up. Grab your right wrist, pull it to the side. Left wrist, other side. Stretch tall and fold down. Slowly sit up. So that was a little firecracker of a workout. Hopefully you made it all the way through and enjoyed every second. Um, I know I certainly did. So I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon so we can uh, sweat and get this energy mixed up. Pilates, yoga, functional fitness, great time.